Welcome back to another Cocktail to Cupcake Transformation. Today, I am going to show you how to use the wildly popular Pina Colada cocktail as inspiration to create a different kind of Pina Colada cupcakes. This new take on the classic recipe uses pineapple, coconut, and rum to produce a triple rum cupcake with Pina Colada buttercream. The lightly spiced cupcake soaked with pineapple rum syrup and topped with pina colada buttercream results in an explosion of flavors reminiscent of the perfect pina colada sip. In this video, you'll learn about choosing the right type of rum for your cocktail, pina colada variations, and how to use those flavors to create your very own pina colada cupcakes. At the end, I'll share with you my favorite pina colada recipe. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerlan and I bring you tips and tricks on how to create boozy cupcakes. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll always know when I upload new videos. The mention of rum usually conjures up images of tropical fruity drinks on white sandy beaches. However, if you've ever been in the rum aisle at your local liquor store, the number of choices can leave you breathless. To clear up the confusion and make it simple for you, I created this nice easy chart as your own personal cheat sheet. First, let's talk a little bit about rum. Rum is a spirit made from fermented sugarcane, distilled and aged in barrels. Although there are accounts of a rum-like drink in India, as far back as 7th century AD, modern rum production truly started in the 1620s in Brazil. The slaves there realized that molasses, a byproduct of sugar production, can be fermented into alcohol. The knowledge made its way to the Caribbean, where production started in Barbados, and later to the American colonies, where rum became the main currency in the slave trade. Of course, rum is also associated with piracy, the British Navy, and American insurgency. Here's a fun fact. In 1740, the Royal British Navy started serving a mixture of rum, water, and lemon juice called grog to all of their sailors to help them fight off scurvy. This tradition continued through the centuries until it finally ended in 1970. Now on to our chart. The first thing to notice when selecting rum is the base ingredient. The majority of rum produced in South America and the Caribbean uses molasses as the base. Whereas in the French speaking countries like Martinique and Haiti, sugarcane juice is used. The easiest way to spot the difference is in the spelling. Rums made with sugarcane juice as a base are spelled with an H. This category also includes the Brazilian rum cachaça. Regardless of the base, all rums are aged before being bottled and fall into a few different categories. White is a light rum distilled after aging to remove the color. It has an almost neutral taste and is best for cocktails like daiquiri, pina colada, or mojito. Gold or dark rum has more of the flavor of the barrels it was aged in and sometimes has a little bit added sweetener or color. These are good for cocktails with more pronounced rum flavor like rum and coke or a dark and stormy. For sipping, it's best to go for a rum aged at least five years or more. These are commonly referred to as premium aged. Spiced rum is distilled with added spices like allspice, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. And flavored rums are distilled with fruits. They provide a little extra to your favorite cocktails or taste buds. A link to this easy chart will be posted in the description box for your use. By the way, if you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As mentioned earlier, today's cocktail inspiration is the Pina Colada. It's one of the most recognizable and popular tropical cocktails in the world. Its origin is disputed, but the widely accepted version is that it was invented in 1954 at the Caribe Hilton in Puerto Rico, by a bartender named Ramon Marrero Perez. He was tasked to come up with a drink that captured the spirit of Puerto Rico and the piña colada was born. The piña colada requires only three ingredients, rum, pineapple juice, 
and coconut cream. They can be blended with ice or shaken and poured over crushed ice and served in the iconic hurricane glass. Garnish is usually pineapple wedge and or maraschino cherry. For a fun variation, add in orange juice to make a painkiller cocktail or add in blue curacao to make a blue Hawaiian. One note about the coconut used in the cocktail. The original recipe calls for coconut cream, but another popular recipe calls for cream of coconut, which is a sweetened coconut cream such as Coco Lopez. The best thing about the piña colada recipe is that you can tweak it to your liking by changing the ratios of the ingredients. Let me know in the comments below if you're more of a pineapple fan or a coconut fan. Some people prefer a more coconut forward cocktail and others prefer a more pineapple forward cocktail. So why don't you let me know what your preference is. If none of them appeal to you, then why don't you check out my strawberry daiquiri cupcakes video for an alternative rum cocktail. The link will be in the description box below. To create our triple rum piña colada cupcakes, we will use spiced rum in the cupcake batter, overproof rum in the pineapple rum syrup, and Malibu rum, coconut milk, and pineapple rum syrup in the buttercream. The secret ingredient to take this cupcake over the top is the piña colada extract used in the buttercream. All these ingredients combine to give us a lightly spiced rum cupcake soaked with pineapple rum syrup and topped with piña colada buttercream, coconut dust, and garnished with fresh pineapple and cherries. Now that we've identified all the components we want to use for our cupcake, let's put it all together. The cupcake starts with my no-fuzz vanilla cupcakes recipe, to which we add spiced rum, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The link to the full recipe will be in the description box below. The cupcakes are baked at 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes, then cooled. For the pineapple rum syrup, add the juice from a canned pineapple in a small pan and simmer on medium heat until reduced by half. Remove from heat and add overproof rum and let it cool. The frosting is an American buttercream and starts with beating the butter until light. Add half the powdered sugar, mixing a little until combined. Add salt, the Malibu rum, coconut milk, pineapple rum syrup, and the piña colada extract. Continue mixing on low and add the rest of the powdered sugar. Once incorporated, Increase the speed to medium and whip until light and fluffy. For the assembly, using a toothpick, make some holes in the cupcakes, then brush on the pineapple rum syrup. Pipe the frosting on the cupcakes. For the coconut dust, pulverize coconut flakes in a food processor or blender until fine. Then sprinkle all over the cupcakes. Garnish with a wedge of pineapple and a maraschino cherry. A bite of the cupcake delivers a party in your mouth with the unmistakable flavor of piña colada and the aroma and taste. As promised, here is my favorite piña colada recipe. I prefer a balanced flavor blended to perfection. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed watching today's cocktail to cupcake transformation. It really helps the channel and it allows others to find the content on YouTube. As always, it was a pleasure hanging out with you. Until next time, remember to eat and drink responsibly. Bye!